Now, my favorite power couple. This is near and dear to my heart because Tiff and Tad Clump are amazing. So come on up here. Tiff is a deal architect, the deal architect of the year award. And Tiff and Tad Clump are the go-getters of the year for the go-getter family. Give them my hand, y'all. Give them my hand. <laughs> Give them my hand. Tiff and Tad Clump from Table Stern Property Solutions here in San Antonio, Texas. Yes, go-getters of the year, by the way. So these are my students and I'm at their house in San Antonio, Texas that they got subject to the existing financing by becoming the bank. This place is beautiful too. So, so talk to me about how it feels to get your first house, your first investment property. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it feels really great. Before we got into this with the go-getter family, we didn't think it'd be something as achievable as it truly is. But thankfully, y'all brought us to the light and showed us the ropes from A to, to A to Z, and we got it done. Absolutely, absolutely. So this place, I, when I walked into it, it was absolutely beautiful. Now, we don't do fix and flips, guys, but Tiff and Tad, they're an amazing team, so they wanted to get this place furnished. And so I'm gonna give you guys a tour, too, in this video, so make sure you stay to check that out. So talk to me, you guys got this subject to, what was the situation? A situation, the seller, we got on a door knock. The seller was going through foreclosure. She was already in the process of moving out of her property um, when we came here. So the house was more or less empty. Immediately began consulting her and asking her questions to figure out what her goals were and what the root of her problem was. And uh, we moved on from there, set an appointment. And so, so she thought, she didn't think she had any options left? No, sir, she didn't. So so you guys came in like superheroes, kind of. <laughs> yes, sir, most definitely. She yeah. was actually talking to a wholesaler, like a wholesaler situation before us, but uh -huh. it was only over the phone. She said, well, since you're here in person, I'd much rather do business with someone that I can, like someone tangible. Someone yeah, that you see. can see, look you in the eye. That's the power of door knocking, guys. I mean, one house is gonna change the game. And the way that we do our exit strategies, you guys are set to make a good amount of money on this place, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, well, let me not get ahead of myself. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. So, so you guys stopped the auction? Yes, okay. sir. We stopped the auction. We had uh, gotten in contact with her lender after we got all the proper paperwork authorized. Um, reached out to the lender, asked them what the options were available. And when they said that there was a few options, we went ahead and pushed for the standalone partial claim. Wait, what do you mean options for the, the payments that the seller was behind? Yes, sir. For the, for the payments in the arrears. Okay. Okay. So did you guys have to pay that? No, sir. We didn't. Ooh. Okay. How much was it? It was a 38, 39K. Yeah, it was like almost like 39. It was like 38, seven and some change. So how was that process for you guys? It was pretty easy. I mean, they actually, like, we used your words. Yes. And so Ooh. because we used your words, it was just a very smooth process. We didn't get no, like, pushback, pushback or anything. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. went pretty smooth, so. Yeah. Words are powerful. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you got to know the right words, yeah, right? Works. And so that makes it a little bit easier. But when you know the process, when we get these foreclosures, we uh, we know the options and we know how to talk to the bank. So Tiff and Tad, they use the system, which is why they're go-getters of the year, because they use the system. It works. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Make sure you guys drop some flames down there for Tiff and Tad. So they use the system and you guys didn't even have to really fill out any applications or anything, right? No, no sir. Wow. They just sent you the promissory note for the 38,000. Yes, sir. And when do you guys have to pay that? Um, when the, years. yeah, about 27 years. 27 years, okay. So so they they put it on the back end of the mortgage. Yes, okay, sir. is it collecting interest? No. No, sir. Zero interest, $38,000, guys. This is literally buying free foreclosures. So that was awesome, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, all right, so, so Tiff, now you were real interested in helping the seller. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, talk to me about that. So when I originally spoke to her, she was very upset. She was in tears. And I just basically told her, like, we're here for you. We're here to make things easier for you and for you to sleep easier at night. Mm -hmm. So I went over her options as far as, like, helping her credit, making sure that she had performing debt so that way it will build her credit throughout the year that, you know, we're going through this process. 
and you know reassured her that as she's working on her credit after a year if she was interested in buying a new home she would have that opportunity to do so oh. so she was very happy to know that she did, she wasn't going to be in a foreclosure for the next seven, 10 years with her credit being ruined. So. Nice, nice. Now that's the epitome of turning the tables. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> tables turn property solutions. I love it, I love it. So, so, well, I mean, really, how does it feel to be able to have a beautiful house like this and have helped that person that was selling the house that was in foreclosure and now you're gonna be helping a family or you know, some, somebody, an executive that moves into town, like you're helping everyone involved and you guys got an asset. How does that feel? Well, Gina feels really great um, to be able to attain ethical capitalism while helping others and also helping others on another aspect, um, get into home ownership and also helping ourselves and our families at the same time. And even even the banks are happy in this situation. Yes. If, you, if you really get down to it, yeah. they, they have their performing mm. set as well. Yep. Everybody, everybody wins in the situation when we do a subject to and then especially when we do a buying free foreclosure. We find these people before the auction, you know, and we're good enough at this to find them, you know, a couple of days before the auction to get this done. As a matter of fact, how, how soon was the auction when you guys found this seller? like a couple of weeks um, it was the following month that she went into so we got her like on her first day oh like default notice okay right her notice, we yes her yes oh okay. so we stepped in really fast yeah you guys are the first one to those off-market leads mm -hmm. so being the first one it gave you more time too where you weren't under pressure to stop that auction or pay the back payments to stop it so yes <laughs> so this is the epitome of no competition off-market leads so she was talking to a wholesaler, but they didn't show up, they didn't have the magic words, and they weren't really trying to help her. So that's the difference with us. Yes, yes. You guys saved 38,000 on the delinquent payments, not having to pay that until for another 27 years. And so how much did you guys spend at closing to acquire it? And how was that, you know, part of the deal for you? So we spent probably around 11,000 but that was including paying the title insurance, mm -hmm. that was paying the, the seller, and then just a lien that she had. That was a lien, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, well, the HOA was the lien. Well, it was, was two, two liens, the yes. HOA and then the UCC. Okay, okay, well, stay in there for a minute. So you guys had to negotiate that. There was an $8,000 lien? There was, yes, uh, yeah, there was. <laughs> okay, okay, how'd you guys handle that? He handled it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now you trying to make it look like uh, Taz the superhero, y'all, but Tiff's the superhero too. <laughs> We're 50-50. That's right, for sure. <laughs> so essentially negotiating the UCC one liens down, the HOA, you could, we couldn't really negotiate them down. As, as Gene says, they're like the freaking mob, so it's their way or the highway. Um, but as far as UCC one goes, we used special wording provided by gene and tggf to get that done so we basically strong-armed the lien holders into cutting that price oh. in, in half so we ended up paying like 4k and some change instead of the full 8k for them to release the lien okay okay so 50 cents on the dollar on the second place lien so so if properties see when when traditional real estate investors uh see liens on a property they run the other direction because they don't have the tools to be able to handle that situation. Now we know how to negotiate those for pennies on the dollar. This one was 50 cents on the dollar and we're moving a little bit rapidly. So next time it's gonna be at least 25 cents on the dollar, if anything. So we have that capability, but then the your title company said that they would transfer uh, the deed with those existing liens in place, the UCC1 liens, right? Yes, sir, correct. So in the future, now that we've established a professional relationship with our title guy and the, like moving forward from here, he's going to be OK to write those UCC one liens in as an exception because they're, they're not tied to the uh, property itself. They're tied to the individual. Boom. Most people don't know that. So we do. And so that puts the us in a position to win. And then it let them show their title company that they're serious players in the real estate market. So having a title company on your side, they're going to be able to handle those problems, transfer deeds when there's situations going on if they know that you're a responsible real estate investor. 
when you have money for a deal or you're borrowing money from others for a deal, the exit strategy isn't really as important to you. It's just the acquisition, but we've got to look at selling this place too. So we, you guys didn't have to borrow any money from anybody to do this. Like you took it out of your own pocket and it's not much. They're selling for 260. So traditionally 260, the down payment at 20% would have been 52,000, right? Okay. So you guys spent about 20% of that and got this beautiful house. So talk to me about decorating it, Tiff. What was, what was that like? fixing it up too. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I really enjoy. So for me, when, even if the, if the home was empty, I still feel like putting a little touch into it makes it feel more like a home. So when a buyer does come and look at the home, they'll see where they're going to fit into this. So they're not going to just see empty walls, empty floors. Like it's, it's going to be more personable. So. Right. Right. Yeah. And so you got a lot of this stuff though, furnishing it just like thrifting yard sales. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I spent a couple days in Goodwill yard sales and Facebook marketplace. Offer up and Ross. <laughs> Ooh, okay, hey, those are all the good stores though that you went to. Shoot Goodwill too now. So, oh, yeah. so, so, how much did you guys spend on on, this? on, on the fix, furnishing on the fix and furnishing? So, fixing the home just with the paint and getting a few things touched up, probably right around twenty five hundred dollars. Speaking of that, like, what did you guys have to do? You didn't have to do a ton of work, right? No, nope. we just painted the walls. We put new carpet and a new smoke detectors. Oh, it? that's, I mean, come on guys. We're not doing fix and flips like the traditional investors getting into situations where we got to come in and spend $25,000, $30,000 on repairs. It's 2,500 bucks and this place looks brand new. You guys are like <laughs> getting up to the top of the food chain in your market. Now we're just going to start getting you units because your ability is definitely there. So yes, how's it feel? to be players. Man, it's, it feels great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't wait to get the next one. <laughs> okay, okay, we're on it too. So you guys are definitely gonna see that. So, well, one piece of advice from each of you that you would give people that are thinking about getting into real estate investing and thinking about the go-getter family. Well, if you're willing to broaden your future and you're willing to bet on yourselves, then I, I would bet on TGGF and Gene Boykin Jr. 110% off the line. There you go, there you go. And once you join, just remember, take it slow, learn your material, ask all the questions, show up for your lives and show up for yourself. So if you're not there for yourself, you can't be there for everybody else that you're trying to help, so. That's a good piece of advice too. So you gotta fight for your own success. But here's the thing, do you guys wanna do trial and error or tried and proven? right and follow a system but tiff and tad they came in and they fought hard for it now tad hold on you quit your job right yes sir but that was a, you had a pretty good job didn't you yes sir it was decent worked my ass off over there to achieve mastery it's something that had a cap out rate so uh. you you get so good at something and then you're not worth anymore after a certain point but thanks to you guys the sky's the limit now it, well, yeah, 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 but you guys bet on yourselves, yes, you know sir. what I mean, and put the work in too. So, you know, you got to put the work in if you want to get good at this and really get results. And so that's why I respect you guys so much because you actually did it. You know, yes, there's people that want it done for them or want to skip mm -hmm. the process just to get to the end. And the end is great, but it's going to be hard to get to the end if you're skipping steps, because when you get to the end, you don't have all of the tools that you need at that point, right? To get it done. Absolutely. So yeah, you guys had some situations where you almost had deals and they didn't end up being deals. So how'd you, how'd you pick yourself back up from that? Um, so Tiff and I together, we're a unit. She sees situations differently than I see situations. And we have the ability to bring each other to light on said situations. So it really helps having each other for support mm -hmm. and the go-getter family to reach out to, to just to keep your spirits up. So it's not, it's not all just about real estate. Right. It's, it's about mentality strength, spiritual strength, you know, emotional strength, and they build you up 
like you're, you're built up into a new a new person you know so oh, it's super cool and it's highly effective so we basically just got knocked down to our knees on a couple of deals just got up brushed it off just let the blood drip you know and push forward so that's right that's right yeah that blood feels a little bit better coming out when you're building something for yourself instead yes, of doing it at work or whatever right so so tiff now you were not only because both of you guys are the go-getters of the year for the go-getter family but tiff is also our deal architect of the year so don't think tiff is just in here just designing <laughs> stuff no she's the deal architect of the year because on the deals that that the first couple of ones that didn't go through you did negotiate great deals and you structured really good deals where it didn't cost you a lot of money up front and then we were able to pay out the equity over time in monthly payments mm -hmm. so on this one you structured a great deal too so talk to me about that aspect of your journey being able to do that just with the type of person you are too yeah so i do more of the numbers side of things and so when i researched the property and we took a look at her home to see what needed repairs, what needed to be done here, and looking for the liens, I was able to take the tools and then kind of work it down to see what was available to her. Now, when we got down to the numbers with her, she was pretty much almost at zero. But we were able to work things because we're not here to just give them nothing we're here to give them something and so we you know told her we'll, we'll kind of like eat some of those negatives and so she was really happy with that so we also mentioned to her that you know this is what we're going to negotiate but if anything else arises it's possible that these could change these numbers could change and so she was completely understand she didn't want the money in her pocket she wanted us to use that money to help her with her debts so we did just that for her really okay okay so so well i do have to say you were able to negotiate like that too and still had the property under contract because the the paperwork we're able to not have that exact number have a number on there but there's movement based off of how strong the contracts are too and you guys got this deal at such a great number you were able to actually give her something outside of you know what most people would have absolutely yes. yeah she she even told us when we were in our meeting she she told me with tears in her eyes she's like i didn't think i was gonna get anything for this home so really? for her to get something that mm -hmm. was like life-changing for her absolutely yes and then saved her credit and she's she's starting off that next chapter in a better place That's turning right. them damn tables tables turn property solutions <laughs> yes do you guys have anything else for the go-getters that are watching and aspiring to be in your position uh, keep pushing forward keep investing in yourself whether it be time or money do it trust in yourself trust in the go-getter family and the sky's the limit let's go and you're definitely not alone the team is great if you have any questions anything that you need if you're feeling down if you're feeling uncertainty i promise you they are here for you not only them but even the class so everyone in the everyone's a team we're a family so that's what we're all about the go-getter family yes yes all right guys don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you feel like we brought you some value till next time let's get to it y'all it's been a great journey and it feels amazing to help someone to see what she was going through and how we were able to help her there's nothing that i can say to explain how I feel about it. It's, it's the greatest feeling ever.